You already know what it is. You already know what it is. Here we go. Here we go. As one Crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker, checking in for a daily Move Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else on my recovery day. Today, just got some upper body work in, making sure I'm resting the lower body because we got the full marathon coming up in less than two months man less than two months a little less than two months and you never want to you, you just didn't i mean as long and as hard as i've been working and training for this you don't want in the middle of my trainings for anything major to happen so it's really 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 important for these next two months to focus on recovery focus on putting the right things in my body and all those things now it's not that i wasn't focused on that before but as we get into the uh getting to the starting line it's important that i'm naked to race day 100 percent healthy 100 percent hydrated and ready to roll all right as far as today's move swiftly thought straight up i just i just have to ask you i mean it, it just got to put it out there all right put it out there. i'm gonna put it out there in the question format what are you putting in front of your kids what are you emphasizing to the young people understand kids young kids watch they remember they 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 feel everything you put out there everything you do they're paying attention to they're being paying very close attention to it they are like sponges they are very much like sponges i know i'm not telling you something you don't know but i want to re-emphasize that to you as i tell you this next story all right a couple months ago a couple months ago <clears throat> Actually, I, did, I even did an episode about this on my podcast, on the, the podcast, on this podcast, on this very podcast that eventually this video will be on this podcast. But the the episode, the title of the episode is escaping me right now. But I remember what I was talking about. I was talking about an author by the name of Susan Verde. And I came across one of Susan Verde's books when I was reading when I was reading to the kids at a previous at the previous center that I was a teacher at. Right. <clears throat> Susan Verde's books was moving me. It was mo it, it was just it moved me because she was talking about you know yoga, meditation. She was basically doing a lot of work in terms of teaching young people how important it is to look within themselves and find the answers within themselves and a belief in themselves. It was a very powerfully powerfully written children's book and if you just check her out it's Susan Verde I, I believe I've reached out to her in the past to try to get her on the show but I mean just incredible incredible work right so as I transitioned to this new center I noticed that there were some Susan Verde books and there was a time in which I would read to all the kids it was about say maybe 25 to 25 to 35 ish kids that I'd be reading Susan Verde books too and I remember making it a point the same way I just spoke about her here I made a point to speak the same way I was telling them all about how Susan Verde walks on water right she's one of the greatest authors ever you know she has a ton like a book series out there that is just incredibly incredibly incredible like incredibly well written and something that all the kids need to be paying attention to all right so yesterday yesterday the kids went on epic we had the kids go on epic uh it's an app on the ipad that they go that they go on called epic in which they can choose their own books there's like bookshelves there's little activities tons of things that they can be doing in terms of increasing and helping them advance educationally right <laughs> so one of the girls that i've gotten to, one of the young girls that i've gotten to know very well since my time at the, the center for the creative education she is you know she's scrolling through the bookshelf now because we're at the beginning of the school year they're now getting into epic they're now seeing you know books that are there and all that stuff you know they're just basically getting themselves back in shape you know now that the school year is kind of running and everything's in full swing and she's looking through the bookshelf on her ipad on epic and then she sees a susan verde book <laughs> she sees this is months after this is months all right months after i brought this to their attention she sees a susan verde book and she looks at me hey mr Oswald, look 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 i mean this is something i thought i would have like i would have thought that she had forgotten 
long you know back when I did it you know because I'm 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 talking to them a lot and I didn't realize I mean I even you could tell now I'm still blown away that she remembered that it's there's almost like that scene in Big Daddy with Adam Sandler when he you know he was teaching the little boy how to tie a shoe he didn't think he was listening and then you know he comes out he's about to give the boy away he's about to give the boy away to uh to an orphanage to adoption or whatever and then the boy comes to him and says look 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 daddy I, died. I tied my shoe I mean I was blown away I was like oh shit man I can't believe it she actually remembered and that's the point that I mean this is I could just drop the mic with that when you are putting stuff out there for the kids when you're around kids make sure you are on alert make sure this is a reminder it's a reminder that as much as they piss you off as much as they annoy you as much as you may think that they're not listening to what you say trust me when I tell you they're taking in absolutely everything I mean I did I was moved I still am very moved as I'm regurgitating and thinking about her face as she's looking at me she and it's on the iPad that's what I'm saying it's on the iPad the Susan Verde book is on the iPad it's not even a physical book but I presented it. I read it to them in the physical format she sees it on the iPad and she's like yep there it is see? <laughs> I'm like yo I'll tell you I was moved all right I was moved by that entire thing so that's today's move Sufi thought man make <laughs> sure you know is as as we adults as we adults or kids I don't know who's consuming this right now this video is gonna be up up and as long as the internet is available to us and I, I want you guys to understand what you do for the kids and how you present yourself to the kids and the things that you put in front of them remember they are taking it all in so be very very mindful about what you're putting in front of our young people and how you're teaching our young people and what you do to help our young people all right main website to check out to dive deeper into my world make move.com that's m-a-k-e-y-a-m-o-v-e.com one stop shop for all your teamwork and your self development needs. As one crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker checking out. You guys continue to move swiftly. We will talk more soon.